I'm sure that even after this, there are some who cannot accept Nezuko. Work towards changing their minds. Prove them wrong. <laughs> Hey, you're awake. You passed out cold the second we moved you here. Everyone was worried because you weren't waking up. Figures I'd be the one who'd have to watch you. I always said you were pretty out of it, but... Well, I guess she was right. I see. What's wrong? My head just feels a little foggy. I can't really remember what happened. Oh, is that all? After all that, he's gonna act this way? How arrogant is this kid? My stomach hurt so bad the whole time. After the mission on Mount Nautagumo. That's right, I... Hey, come on, get up! Are you gonna sleep the whole dang day? Just wake the hell up, will ya? <laughs> You're in the presence of the Hashira! I heard he was a demon slayer with a demon in tow. I was expecting someone with a bit more flair. But it's just some ordinary looking kid. We must see that this boy is put on trial to be judged! So it shall be! To think that he's been protecting his sister, who was turned into a demon! What a brave and beautiful display of sibling love! What? Who are all these people? Don't open your mouth until you're told! Do you know who you're in the presence of? These are the Hashira! The Hashira? I have no idea what that is. Who are all these people? Where even am I? This is the Demon Slayer's headquarters. You are here because you, Tanjiro Kamado, are to be put on trial. Before we begin the trial, why don't you explain the crime you have been accused there of? There is no need for a trial! Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better had he not been born at all. Those clouds, what do you call them when they're shaped like that? I can't remember. Wait, where's Nezuko? Hey, the Hashira are speaking. What are you looking at? Your eyes should be over there. Hey! Nezuko! Where did- Seeing him standing there without any restraints is making me feel ill. Based on what Kocho told us, He's just as guilty of breaking the Corps' rules. How should we make him take responsibility? What kind of lesson shall we teach him? Igoro, you're as sharp-tongued as ever, I see. I love that side of you. Look at Tomioka over there, all alone and stoic-like. 
think it's fine. He did come here without resisting. Let's come up with a penalty later. What I'm more interested in is hearing this boy's story. He's in this situation because of me. Tanjiro Kamado, as a fellow demon slayer, for what purpose are you traveling with a demon? You can take your time. Just answer the question. She's my... my young... <coughs> you look like you need some water. I can tell you've injured your jaw, so please, drink slowly. I added an anesthetic to the water to help. Your wounds are still healing, so it would be best if you didn't push yourself. Are you ready to tell us your story now, Tanjiro? That demon is my little sister. My family was attacked by a demon while I was gone, and I lost them all. Except for her. She may be a demon, but she's never hurt anyone. She never has, and she never will. She'll never harm a human being no matter what. Enough. Spare us the absurd ramblings. Anyone would defend their family. Why should I believe a single word you say? Sorry, but I'm not buying it. Please, just listen to me. I became a swordsman in hopes of finding her a cure. It has been two whole years since Nezuko became a demon, and she hasn't ever eaten anyone. Your storytelling is lacking any vibrant sparks of color. She hasn't eaten anyone, and she never will. If you're gonna plead your case, at least make it interesting to listen to. Excuse me? Something about this concerns me. I find it hard to believe the Master would have been unaware of this situation. I don't think we should act without his permission. Maybe it's best if we wait until he arrives. My sister... Let my sister stay by my side. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. I know she can. So please. Well, well, well. What exactly do we have brewing over here? Is that the moron who's been traveling with a demon? <laughs> Start talking. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Go on, say that again, kid. She can fight to protect humans as a demon slayer. Isn't that what you said? You know what we call that? Being completely out of your mind, you idiot! <laughs> Anyone who harms my sister answers to me! I don't give a damn if you're one of the Hashira! <laughs> Is that supposed to scare me? Cease this at once. The Master will be here at any moment. The Master of the Mansion has returned. My beloved children, I thank you for coming here this day. <laughs> Good morning to you all. The weather is strikingly nice today. Perhaps with a blue sky. Finding ourselves here, at our semi-annual gathering, with all the same faces, it brings me joy. He looks wounded. No, sick maybe? Is he really their master? The master. The Hashira. Nezuko. Nezuko. Where's Nezuko? Huh? Your sister is right there. She's been asleep the whole time. Makes sense, given everything that's happened. R right. Okay. <sighs> you look like you're still a little groggy. Why don't you go for a walk and wake yourself up? We'll be safe here in the Butterfly Mansion. And I'm pretty tired of watching over you. I'll go tell everyone you're awake. If you see anyone around, make sure you greet them properly. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sh sure thing. 
just feel better soon, okay? A proper greeting. Okay. Looks like I've got everyone worried. Let's go. In the Butterfly Mansion. Shinobu lives here. I was brought here to recover from the wounds I received in the line of duty. I should be the one to tell everyone what happened. Hmm... Nezuko and I were taken to the Demon Slayer Core HQ. There we learned we were to be put on trial. Nezuko hadn't harmed a human being yet, and I knew in my heart she never would. Of this, I was certain. I wanted everyone to know that, and tried to argue my case, but no one wanted to listen. But then, just as they were about to hand down my sentence... A letter from Earl Kodak he was read aloud. And so, I am requesting that you please allow Tanjiro and his sister to accompany each other. Because of a resilient mental fortitude, fortitude Nezuko, Nezuko has not, not lost her human reason. Even when starved, she has never devoured a human. And that still stands true more than two years later. Although this situation sounds outlandish, it is in fact reality. In the event that Nezuko does assault another human being, I, Sakonji Urokodaki, along with Tanjiro Kamado and Giyu Tomioka, will atone by committing seppuku. Up until now, I always thought that I was the only one who cared about Nezuko. It's been just me and her for so long. But I was wrong. It wasn't just me. Earl Kodaki and Tomioka had both put their lives on the line for her. My heart was filled with a feeling that couldn't be described with words. I was so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Even after hearing what Uro Kodaki had written, some of the Hashira still weren't convinced. One of them was named Shina Zugawa, a man covered in scars. He took Nezuko's box then went inside the mansion. Then, after taking her out of the box, he tried to provoke her into attacking him by spilling his own blood. What's the matter? Go on. You know you want it. All humans are your family. You must protect them. Humans are to be protected and saved. Never hurt them. I will never hurt them. Tell me what 
What happened? The demon girl turned her head away in disgust. So there it is. Undeniable proof that Nezuko won't attack humans. I couldn't believe they'd provoked her so violently. It made my blood boil. But even when they dangled the scent of fresh blood right in front of her, Nezuko was able to control her urges. You held back, Nezuko. You did it. I'm so proud of you. What's this? you. Sorry to worry you all. How are your wounds, Tanjiro? Oh, uh, they're okay. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I'm so glad to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can go and do anything strenuous. Yeah, Shinobu will get mad at you. Got it. I'll take it easy for a while. Is that... Oh! Zenitsu! Inosuke! Oh, Tanjiro. You sure look like you're up and refreshed. What are you two doing here? What do you think? We're lying in the sun. There's nothing for us to do. And, well, just look at Inosuke. I'm sorry for being so weak. Uh, oh. Anyways, you met the master, right? Oh, what was she like? What'd you think when you first saw her? Oh my gosh, please tell me she was a beauty. The master is a man. I've lost interest in this conversation.
Okay. I don't smell anything that stands out. Okay. What's this? I'm so glad you're awake. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry to be a burden. This place is for treating those who have been wounded in the line of duty. It's our job to take care of you. There is no need to apologize. Oh, well, thank you very much then. Though you are awake, your body may not yet be back to normal. You need to keep resting to ensure a full recovery. Understand? Yes, I'll do my best. Is this really the same boy who made such a fuss at the Hashira meeting? <sighs> okay. Tomioka helped me on my mission again. I should thank him one of these days. It's just as you've all reported. The demon's carnage has reached an all-time high. This means the threat to human life is greater than it has ever been before. We must bolster the ranks of the demon slayers. Now, what are your thoughts? The incident on Mount Nadagumo says it all. The caliber of demon slayers has dropped tremendously. Most of them are completely useless. The trainers must have gone blind. You'd think they could at least tell if someone's competent or not. The more the human race grows, the harder it becomes to control and unify them. And in this era, that seems to be especially true. We have those who've joined us after their loved ones were slaughtered. And those who have hunted demons for generations. But for the others, it's another matter entirely. Asking laymen for the same or even greater commitment to our cause. I feel this would be much too cruel. But we must consider that this boy, soon after joining, encountered one of the Twelve Kizuki. I think he can draw them out. Even we rarely get the chance to confront one. I am envious. A fair point. However, 
The fact that lower rank 5 made such a drastic move likely means Kibutsuji is far from Mount Narakumo. Like with the Saksa, whenever he wishes to hide something, he proceeds to create a clever diversion to throw us off his trail. To be honest, it's quite frustrating. But as long as these demons linger as they do now, freely devouring humans and gaining strength as a result, there is only one thing for us to do, for the sake of those who have died. I feel you who are present today, the Kors Hashira, are the finest unit I have assembled since the Swordsmen of the Feudal Era. The very first to use breathing techniques. Tengen Uzui, Kyojuro Rengoku, Shinobu Kocho, Mitsuri Kanrochi, Ruichiro Tokito, Yome Himejima, Sanemi Shinazugawa, Obanai Igoro, Giyu Tomioka, my beloved children, I look forward to seeing your success.